Merry Christmas. Remax Real Estate Service, New Image Media, Downtown San Fernando, the Town of Broadway, and Sanford TV presents the Broadway Christmas Parade. Good morning, I'm Donald Andrews, Mayor of Town of Broadway. I want to take this opportunity to welcome everyone to Broadway for the 2021 Broadway Lions Club Christmas Parade. We're back in person this year. We kind of skipped last year due to the COVID, uh, but the Broadway Lions Club has been working so hard the last few months to put together the parade. Um, they've got a great lineup of 120 entries. Um, so we're excited to uh, have everyone come to town. The weather is going to be gorgeous Saturday, so we hope you'll come out and enjoy the parade. Uh, a special shout out to all our the sponsors for the Broadway Lions Club Christmas Parade to make it happen. And to all the folks who are members of Lions Club who work so hard to decorate downtown and put on the, uh, the Christmas Parade. So again, thank you everyone and I uh, hope everybody has a fun time and Merry Christmas. Kelly School of Dance would like to thank you for supporting our studio for over 40 years. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy holidays from the Chocolate Cellar. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Hi, I'm Sam, and we're from the Chocolate Cellar in historic downtown Sanford. There's no better gift this holiday season than a box of our delicious handmade truffles. We have a large assortment of truffles from our customer favorite key lime to our uniquely flavored hot and spicy. We also have grab and go bags starting at $5, and our build your own boxes at $3.99. Come see us at 110 Carthage Street in downtown Sanford. Por favor, venga a visitarnos. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2021 Broadway Christmas Parade. I'm your host, Travis Bradford, Remax Real Estate Service, and I'm joined by my colleague, Jessica Wheeler. Thank you, Travis. We are excited to bring you guys the parade this evening. Um, it is already, you can see the cars in the distance here coming our way, and uh, it's great to be back after being a year off. It's fun to, to be here celebrating uh, Christmas with everybody on the streets and seeing it just like it was prior to 2020. It is. I had a great time hosting the 2019 Broadway Christmas yes. Parade. That was first time and it was it was a wonderful experience. All the people and the, mm -hmm. the floats and the cars and everybody just out showing the support for their town. Yeah, in 2019 I would have been in my Shriner car so ah, as, a yeah. part of the, as part of the parade so <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It, it's, a, it's always a good parade. Yes. So. Well, there's a good turnout today for sure. Yes. Streets are lined and uh, both sides. And uh, we'll get things kicked off here uh, with the Broadway Police Department. All right. So we're leading the way will be Police Chief Todd Hennett. Um, He's been he's been in that position since 2006, and uh, it's actually long time. Long time. He's retiring at the end of the year after 30 plus years in oh, law enforcement. Oh well, good for him. That is, uh, we appreciate his service to the Broadway community, and uh, thank him for that. I know they were out getting the streets blocked off so that everybody could get lined up for the parade. That was quite a job, I'm sure. So we appreciate that work too. Yes. Next up, we got the Lee County JRTC, uh, their color guard. They're looking very professional, well put together in their uniforms today. Yes. Those police sirens are always what gets us started. Always, yeah. yeah, we've been listening to them to see when it was time for us to go. <laughs> And following them will be our Grand Marshal of our uh, Broadway play Parade. It's uh, Dr. Eldon Sloan, um, Jr. Dr. Sloan has been a valuable part of this community for many, many years. And uh, along with him, driving him is uh, Teresa Kelly, Commissioner. So 
and behind him are his grandkids. Yes. That's exciting, throwing out candy behind their grandpa. All right. <laughs> Don, Don, <laughs> Rebecca, so his, his kids. So next up, we got the Lee County JRTC uh, marching unit. And next, the Broadway Town Commissioners in the red Chevrolet truck. So. Right. Next up, we got the Carolina Veterinary Hospital. So. Got to pause. They've got some furry friends that are trying to keep up there in the middle. Yeah. What's a what's a veterinary's float without pets? Right. So. Everybody looks forward to seeing every, the pets in the parade. That's right. I think they're excited to see all the people on the sides of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking for love. Yes. Uh. Merry Christmas. All right, next up we've got uh, Broadway Hardware. So. Located at 305 North Main Street. Owner Frank McDonald. Uh, they've been in business since 1909. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Wow. Their motto is, we're old-fashioned service is still in style. Followed by Councilman Sam Gaskins. And now we hear the Lee County High School Marching Band. Liven things up a little bit here, a little bit of music. That's so. right. I heard I heard the sirens first and the band second as we were waiting for everything to get started. They're led by Mr. Wilkins and Miss Flowers. Sit and listen to this. Right. They sound great. They yeah. do. Really good. Yes, they do. Why don't you sing a little bit for that for us? <laughs> Is today my big debut? Yeah, sure. Okay, all right, we'll <laughs> do it. Now, next up, we got the Wheels of the uh, Past Car Club. So. And they have several cars in this. Oh, wow. And forgive me for not knowing all the models. Uh, I, I got you. You got me? You know all of them? I got this. Good. Every single one, yes. I am glad you do. The first one is red. <laughs> 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 so, but these are, uh, there's a lot of nice cars in this unit here. Some of the younger kids here have probably never seen cars like this before. Parades, that's, that's probably it. You know, they're all right. too young for even some of their grandparents to, to own cars like this. Right. So. Now, some of these I know. So. Well, we said kids. Yeah. We're not the kids anymore. Well, so. <laughs> And these are all fantastic. They all look great. So. Right. You know, some of these are definitely show cars, but I'm I'm looking and I've seen some of these cars driving around town. Yeah. I think they're daily drivers for some of these folks. So yes, you're right about that. So it's a nice looking Camaro. Very nice. <laughs> We are a Ford Fairlane. So. That car, it's not the same car, I know, but all I can think about is Dirty Dance in I, the movie. I think you can identify this one. <laughs> this would be a Volkswagen Beetle. All right. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> you had three generations in that Volkswagen uh -huh, Beetle there. Yeah, absolutely. Here on another Camaro. I 
I think this orange truck is a is Chevrolet Cheyenne. What well, do you think, must, Travis? I think so. I think you're correct. <laughs> Followed by another. Beautiful. So, yeah. And here we are with Chevy Blazer coming up. It's a K5. And another K5 Blazer. Now here's a Rally Sport Camaro. I bet I bet he could burn a few wheels. Probably so. I wouldn't recommend it during the parade, but Another Chevy C10. Followed by the Lee County Sheriff's Office. They're here to catch the burnouts. <laughs> Keeping them straight. That's right. So. And a young member of the SWAT team in the back of that tunnel. Yes. <laughs> one of our one of our future officers. That's right. So. And again. Thank you to, for them and the service they provide to the community. Bringing Spider-Man to the parade. <laughs> Good to see him. Yeah. Or her, I guess we can't tell. <clears throat> and Broadway Elementary Broadway School. Broadway Elementary School. Yeah. Their principal is Ricky Secor, assistant principal is Angela Pope. Uh, they are 500 students strong. So... <laughs> so, some of these kids I've coached in uh, sports. So They're on TV. They're all excited all to be on TV. Saying. Go Wildcats. That's right. It's a long walk. I don't know that all of them knew what they were in for. Yeah. And they're running now, but they're going to be trying to hitch a ride when they get further up there. And they've had a fantastic turnout. They really have. Uh, the whole school might be. It here. looks like the whole school is here. <laughs> Good for them. These teachers were yeah. were wonderful to volunteer their time on the weekends. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's right. The kids. Yeah. Here comes the kindergarten class. Their teachers have got them in check. They're just walking and waving. They must have bribed them. Yeah. Doing a great job. Good job. So, yes. Next up, we've got uh, Euphronia Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church. With the Grinch. Yeah. All right. Grinch caught a ride with them. So. <laughs> We even got a pink bunny in there. That's the right, right. That's right. So. From the Christmas story. All right. We've got bubbles. Somebody's blowing I, bubbles I back here. I think that's snow. We're just oh. on the wrong side of the street. <laughs> it it's looks all, like bubbles. It's all going the other way. So Triad Waste is, uh, they're pulling the Lee County Slammers Volleyball Club. Cool. So. Oh, we're going to get snowed on. They're going to make sure. All right. Look at that. Look at the snow. Fantastic there. So. <laughs> now we've got a, a big gap here. See, the Dunn Clowns are next. The, the Sudan Dunn Clowns, and they are providing entertainment for everybody. Yes. So They're stopping along the way. Absolutely. They, they'll be here momentarily. Yeah. But in the meantime, <laughs> so... <laughs> They are, uh, I see unicycle down there, so music's blaring, so. Travis, we both grew up here. Did you come to the Broadway Parade when you were young? Growing up, we would come to the parade. Uh, yeah. So it was one of one of the many parades that we'd come to. Uh, of course, Sanford Parade here in the Broadway Parade, um, you know, growing up a part of this community. Um, my mother actually worked for uh, Dr. Sloan, our, our Grand Marshal as a dental assistant so uh, for many years we'd come here and uh, be a part of the, this area and it's great to see that this area's grown up um, you know in fact we are located right across from 
uh, a high school classmate of mine who has Woodard Family Barbecue and Grill. I know. Stephen Woodard and his family. Yeah, we were talking about something that they serve there um, pretty regularly, a collard sandwich. Have you ever had a collard sandwich? No. <laughs> so. Me neither. But I didn't know, you know it was what? a thing. It is. I mean, I thought it was a state fair thing, I guess I should say. But, yeah, they. But he has, his his food is fantastic. So, um, if, you, if you've never had his, his home-cooked food, uh, you should definitely come check him out. And, of course, Los Charos is here as well. So. I know these restaurants have been really busy. I, th- I bet this day is busy for them. I'm sure Every it is. year. Yes, every That's year. good. And we can hear the clowns. The clowns are getting getting close. I, I hear them. Announcing that, that they're the clown capital of the world. Hey, their, their group travels all over the United States and performs, and um, they raise tens of thousands of dollars for Shriner Children's Hospital. So, uh, they, you know, that is in, in itself is just uh, amazing. Yes. And, um, the work they do is amazing, and these guys are, you know, they're, they, it's kid-friendly, it's adult-friendly, it's yes. good, clean fun every time. That's right. They get everybody involved. They want everybody up and around. That's right. So. Yep. They got their head dancer out here in the front. <laughs> yes. Dancing to a little Justin Timberlake. I think that's a Trolls song. I, I believe you're Your right. Your kids like Trolls? Brooklyn loves this song. We love it. We love the trolls at my house. There's no mistake in their songs coming through. I think they've picked up some of their moves from TikTok. Some of their kids and grandkids probably teach them the TikTok moves. Are you going to do some TikTok dances with them I, when they come over I'm here? I'm going to sing. We might as well. <laughs> <laughs> we, Backup dancer. We lost a unicycle. I think he took a break. He'll be, oh, he'll be up. He'll be up and about in a minute. So Maybe he saw somebody he knew. Maybe so. Or he might have just needed a, a rest. So. I'm sure. Good, good. Oh, donuts. Donuts in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah. Going to pick up the unicycle driver. He's maybe. back. He's back. They are excited. They're getting the crowd crowd revved up. Merry Christmas from the Clouds. And I'm sure they did multiple parades today. Oh, I'm sure they did, too. I'm glad the weather held off. It's, it's cloudy, but it's not raining. That's coming tonight, I think. Yeah. This is Boo. So. Oh, boy. He's eyeballing you. <laughs> We're in trouble. Here We're in comes. trouble. Somebody <laughs> get Boo. Boo's coming over. Oh, there's the, how did he get there? The unicycle guy. Hey, he's quick. So. I think he just did a city block in about 60 seconds. Yeah. Hey, rolling. So here comes the party. You got some little dancers everywhere. So. What's up, brother? So, so. Here they come. Then Party gets, bus. Gets everybody's feet moving. That's right. So, love to see it. Everybody dancing on the street, having a great time. How can you not? The party bus just came through with clowns. Yeah. Following up with them is uh, West Winds 2 Realty Group. Tracy Hughes is their broker in charge and owner. Great to see them here. We want to thank them for uh, providing us with uh, electricity and internet for, for today's broadcast. So. And we snuck into their office and ate some of their pizza. <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> All 
All right, bring it right behind them. We got Kinetic by Windstream. Hopefully one day they'll be able to get me all the internet speed I need. <laughs> I knew it. So. I knew it was going to become an internet <laughs> thing. Just a plug. We need some good internet. We do. We do. So. At our office. I not need, not here. We got good internet I, here today. I, when you have kids, you need all, all, of, all you can get. So. Right. And then Crossroads Ministries behind them. Mm -hmm. Got another kinetic truck before yeah. that. I think the clowns caught, caught the log jam. So. I know. They did. Here comes the whole rest of the parade. But we have to have the clowns. Yeah. It's not a parade without them. you got to have the clowns. we got some candy being given out. Nice. Yeah. They put a lot of work into that float. Yeah. And Crossroads Ministry, their lead pastor is uh, John Sauls III. So... Got a float full of people. And Olaf. Sure. Olaf oh. and Buddy to the L. They tossed us the something. Yeah. Buy candy. <laughs> so. Oh, we got flyers going everywhere. That's one way to get them out yep. all over the place. Cape Fear Fire Department. I think we I think In we the can. house. Yes. <laughs> Making a statement. Cape we, Fear Fire Department. The statement is, we are really loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We got, got three other engines out here today, and fire chief is uh, Josh Billings. So, thank you, thank them for their service. Yeah. All the future firefighters sitting on top. That's right. These guys probably worked all night, and they're driving in the parade today, so that's great. And their trucks are spotless. Oh, always. Yes. Always. All right, here we got a got several tr uh, vehicles lined up here. Uh, we got a '64 Chevy, along with a '92 Mustang. And followed by that's going to be a '66 Ford Galaxy. My uncle has a similar vehicle, but his is a seven liter. Oh. And it's a convertible. So And a sixty four Chevy. Very nice. So it's a that's probably that's a the fifty four Chevy. Fifty four yeah. Chevy. Ooh. So, yeah. There's John uh, Ryan Patterson. So Patterson Farm. Driving the here. first tractor on Patterson Farm, <laughs> bought new in 1949 there's by his, Roy Patterson. There's his son, <laughs> followed right behind him. And that's probably this year's tractor. <laughs> oh, no. That, <laughs> that's an old tractor, too, there. So. All right. And next up, we got Smith Douglas Holmes. Robbie Erford driving, uh, driving them around. In their tiny welcome center. Yeah, their tiny welcome center. A, a, a mobile welcome center. That's nice. Have you so. ever been in one of those tiny house kind of things? I've been in a tiny house. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't been in that one. So, but. Oh, it's all decorated for Christmas. Yes. Yeah, nice. Uh, next up, we got the uh, Sanford Lions Club with all the, the Lee Regional Fair pageant winners. So. Very nice. Yes. All right. And we've got the Divas of Hip Hop. 
Let's see. Are we going to get a dance? All right. A song, no. something, backup dancers and singers for me? We need some dancing. <laughs> so. you got to do something to distract this awful show Travis is trying to make me do. And next up, we got D and D HVAC. So. And Cindy Lou Who, let's not forget her and the oh Grinch. Oh, my. Cindy Lou Who and the Grinch. This is uh, Colonel Edward Anderson in his 54 wheelies Jeep. So it's great to see, uh, you know, Army history and stuff like that come through. That's right. We and Roger Gilmore in the 2018 Challenger, Dodge Challenger. I see Santa Claus and Frosty riding with him. Right. Well, I knew it. I knew we were going to get a rev of an engine or something. Something from that. Yep, too. <laughs> Followed by him, David David and Debbie O'Quinn in their 1972 Chevelle SS. It's a beautiful car. Mm -hmm. BJ Dunn in the 2016 Challenger SRT Hellcat. I'll take it. I'm in. <laughs> And here comes my alma mater, Western Hornet High School, and their marching band, led by Mr. Collins. Jessica to sing. I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes one of our favorites, the Hornet Sudan Racers. Favorites, of course. Yes, led by Dwayne Lee today, Gary yeah. Kidd, Frank Long, Bill Lamb, Leslie Jackson, Jason Gwynn, Roy Norris, all coming through. Now, if they wreck, trying to trying they're, to wave at you. They're going to come get really close to you. Don't, oh, they're gonna, Lord. Yep. Right on you. I'm ready for it. Here they come. I have to get injured so I can get out of this singing. Got to get in formation <laughs> so they can wave at everybody as they come through here. So, again, another Shriner unit here that raises tens of thousands of dollars for uh, Shriners Children's Hospital. They are uh, they are good to go. So all it's great guys. Absolutely. So. Yep. And if I wasn't standing beside you, I'd be out there in my M&M's car. Well. So. What happened? Well, I, you know, I had to come out here and oh, be a part of this with you. Okay, so. okay. And uh, We'll accept it. Now, they're not done. They're coming back. No, I so know they're ready. coming back. So I'm waiting to lose a pant leg. Here they come. They're coming from the other <laughs> side. Just stick it out there. So you better get ready. Okay. So they'll sneak up right behind you. I'm ready. I'm Got to provide a show for everybody. Here they come. Here they come. What? Are, Are they we going? blocking them? We nope. They're just doing these circles over there. So. Circles. Yeah, circles over there. These guys are really a sight to see. If you, and I didn't know you told me they had. There's a whole Shriners parade. Correct, the whole Shriners parade. I didn't uh, know gets it. Gets together. And here's our record car. So just in case they so. did have to have them at the. Hey, uh, just in case. That's right. They had to use it in Sanford. Didn't have to use it here. So this is always right. good. Knock so. on our table here. Yes, it is. <laughs> And now we got the Sanford Volleyball Club followed by following them up. So they've been held up by them all day is what you're saying. Well, yes. <laughs> they did get held up a little bit. But, it's uh, okay. There are worse sure. worse things. And they look pretty happy, so. Yeah, I think so. And followed by them, we got Cameron Grove, AME Zion Church, with their lead pastor, Kenneth Swan, another classmate of mine. So, <laughs> so yes, sir. So, it's good. Always good to see see uh, locals coming through, people you grew up with, and know that they're still part of these communities. So, of course, that's the fun of hosting the parade. You get that's to see right. people you may not see, but once a year at the parade. Yes. And right behind him. Let's see. This is our 1970 Corvette, followed by a 2016 
Z06 fit, driven by Johnny Fairclough. Somebody yelled out, rev it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure the kids want to hear that. Of course, yeah. They're, they're followed by the uh, Cub Scouts Pack 953. We got minions and so, Santa Claus. Yeah, so. so having a great time out here. Now we got Deep River Fire Department. Yeah. In their 1953 fire engine. Jacob Newton's their fire chief. Actually, that's not the 53. Oh. Yep, they didn't bring it tonight. Uh -oh. It came to the Sanford Parade, but it looks like they had to miss the Broadway Parade. Oh, well. Maybe they had some mechanical issues. So. Or multiple parades. That's, That's true. the thing about they this time have, of year. May have gone to another parade. That's it. Uh, I mean, we've had lots of stuff come through already. Lots of great floats and uh, people coming through. Well, Travis, when you're not driving in the parade, what's your favorite favorite thing to watch? I mean, of course, you know. It's still the cars. The cars are still the, I <laughs> the mean. The there's, mini cars. There's, there's a reason I joined that unit. Uh, it was uh, so much fun watching them, you know, growing up. You see them. Yep. And, uh, and, you know, of course, too, the, seeing the Dunn Clowns out here who are always I providing entertainment for everybody. I love the clowns. So. The clowns are definitely my favorite. And, and then the groups of kids. Yeah that come through kids and you know the thing about it is kids love stuff like you know to the, be a part of yes, something like this absolutely they that's do. right they learn you know all kinds of things by being a part of something like a parade where they get to see the community come together and and it really probably helps get some of them in the christmas spirit not everybody just wakes up christmas ready on december 1st that is true <laughs> that is true making memories that's right here we got Bear Creek Arsenal. Eugene Moore is their CEO. And they're right off McNeil Road in Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're jack in the box. All right. And they're, they're uh, footsies. Isn't that what they're called? What are the pajamas? Onesies. 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 <laughs> and then we got uh, Ricky Nunnery and his 1950 Ford pickup. Now that's a beautiful view. It really is. So uh, I need that. So, followed by a 1956 Ford Fairlane, driven by Raymond Davis. We need to Google it and see if that's the Dirty Dancing car. I really need to know this. Well, I think that was a Bel Air. I, I don't know. I I don't re recall, but. <laughs> You're supposed to know these I'm things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know that one. So, and, yep. And we got Ricky Patterson in his 69 Camaro. That's exciting. We just heard one of the onlookers yell, hey, Papa Ricky. See, that's <laughs> that's what it's about. That's right. It is what it's about. <laughs> and then we got Larry Lee Hare and his uh, GMC. And Tommy Allen in the 68 Chevelle. My dad has a 69 Chevelle. Okay. But this one is really classic looking. Dad's this monster car. Okay. <laughs> and the Lee Senior Junior Varsity Cheerleaders. Cheering on their team. That's right. Want to make sure that we, we know they're here. The yellow jackets. That's great. They've got their mascot with yes, them. Yes, they do. And right behind them, we got the Western Hornet uh, Future Farmers of America, driven by Mr. Terry Curran and Anna Bruner. That's another way for kids to learn a lot of valuable life skills. FFA. That's right. Next up, we got Let Let's Tree Service tree removal service and I have I have clients of mine ask this all the time do you know somebody who can remove a tree I've I've sent them to Let's a couple of times Mr. Let and his his team do a great job
They got plenty of equipment to do a great job. Mm -hmm. And then right behind them, we got B&R hauling with one of their dump trucks. They were established, ooh, 1997 by Brian Hope. And the Northwest Pocket Fire Department. If you've never been through or to Pocket, it's one of those little tiny towns, don't blink. Yep. But they've got a big fire department there to take care of everybody. David Nance is their fire chief. Now next up we've got uh, Cheryl Monet, Elite North Carolina, North America. And Ivana Spires, Harnett County Toys for Tots, Carolina yes. Angel. Yes. You know, I, I found out something interesting about Toys for Tots. You know, they they started in 1947, but their poster was designed by Walt Disney. Oh, look at that. The, the one that they used is awesome. That's so. nice. Here we got Renee Whittington. She's the Harnett County Clerk of Court. She's a busy lady. I don't know if you ever have to go to the courthouse for anything, but they it's a it's a well-oiled machine for sure, but she's busy. There's John and Bryson Holder driving their 65 Mercury Comet 404. And then right behind him, we've got Teresa Jackson in her in 93 Corvette. And John Matthews in a 1974 Ford F100. That's one of those trucks you have no idea what's under the hood. Right. It's, it's no telling what he has under the hood. That's exactly right. And then Jimmy and Burt Holt, their 1969 Chevy Impala. And right behind them, we've got the Deep River Northview Optimus 11U All-Star Team. And they were the 2021 Cal Ripken World Series champions. And before we can't, before you can't hear us, the Sudan, Sampson County, Sudan Shriners, behind these baseball stars here on this float. Yes. Now let's see, these guys might actually take part of a pant leg. <laughs> their cars are a little bit more bulky. Yep. Seems like. Well, they, all their cars, they're matching cars. Nice. Unlike, unlike our unit. So mm -hmm. And see, they use hand signals to, uh, to relay the message to each other. So they better be careful waving too much. That might mean something else. <laughs> Whereas we, we wear helmets because we do different things. Uh, oh. We actually have headsets in our... Oh, so. that's good. Yeah. So. And again... These guys break down. They have multiple units where they go to different parades. But here you go. We got one on the record. So It happens. It really does. Each one of those drivers has his name on the side of the car. Do you have your name on the side of your car? I do. Oh, I do. that's good. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got a, uh, let's see here, Matthew Smith in a 1955 Chevy. Well, it looks like some candy's coming out of the 57 Chevy driven by Russell Doby. That's all the kids really care about. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's the candy. There you go. Everybody getting some candy. I think somebody slipped the tra tractor in here. Joe Godfrey on 1979 140 Farmall. Yeah. Farm All International, this, uh, and that is super clean. Super clean, yeah. Showpiece for sure. Mm-hmm. Here we got a 1956 Chevy. And Griffin's Landscaping and Lawn Care. Yeah. Nick Griffin's the owner of that. It's, uh, 
That's a cool little John Deere he's got on the back there. Yeah, he's got his own little antique. Nice. No more. And here we got Lemon Springs Fire Department. They've uh, got a baby firefighter yes, they on there. Do. <laughs> yes, they do. Santa on the back. Uh, here we've got the uh, Inland Boat Company coming through. Whoa, they almost lost their Grinch. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't let the Grinch fall out. That would be bad. No, nope, so. keep the Grinch and the bunny happy. So, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Um, all the kids enjoying that throwing out candy of course Sanford turf and irrigation coming up behind them yeah Daniel Baker the owner operator of Sanford turf and irrigation so him and his family on the flow there's Morgan and Stacy and Bryson and Callie so. we have to catch the candy <laughs> So, yeah. He tried very deliberately to toss that to us, and we got it. There's Daniel. Merry Christmas. <laughs> they can take care of all your uh, irrigation, landscaping needs. That's right. Then we've got Tramway Baptist Church behind them. And they've done a great job on their parade. They've got a carpenter in the in the woodworks, to, so to speak, somewhere. Yes, they do. And now we've got uh, it's like this is Trail Life and American Heritage girls, but. I think this is something different. So they, that might be on the list, but let's look. Yes. No, this is trail life. It is trail life. And the, okay, there, yeah, there they are. So They're together. That's what it is. Yes. Yep. There you go. That's great. And they're going to be followed by the Girl Scout troop. 2948. More candy coming this way. That's right. You might get fortunate to I'm get some more candy. You're I'm going to catch it. You need some more candy? Not not catch it with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we can always use more candy. Yes. They're trying to disperse their candy so it gets thrown out from uh -oh. all sides of the float. We got a, we got a traffic jam. Uh-oh. So, we so we're at a standstill now, but that's okay. It's got to be those clowns somewhere. Maybe. It's, uh, I see them Had all. to stop and make balloon animals or something. Travis, does your family go with you when you go and do all the parades? They don't go to all of them. Not all of them? We do a lot of them. So we'll, they usually go to the Holly Springs Parade, okay. Sanford Parade, Broadway, yeah. and Lillington. Of course. Um, so. And what's their favorite thing? Same things we love, the the cars, of course, because you're driving the car. Yes, they, <laughs> they love the cars. They they like they like the the fast stuff so yeah the things that move right um, do they like the clowns because you know some people are scared of clowns they do that's good so no fear of clowns in our family good good um, and then your daughter was in the sanford christmas parade this she year she was she was, was that the first time first time in a parade she okay was kelly school of dance good and she was waving her little arm off. She was. And when I went back and watched it, I could see you it. You could so. see just maybe the top of her nose yep. and her little arm she trying to wave you down while you were doing the announcing. She was. She was, <laughs> she was so happy 
So that was a uh, that was a highlight for her for sure. Good. She did, she wanted no part of watching the uh, the actual parade. She just wanted to be in it. Right. So yeah. It, which, like we said, that you know, kids they, they I think kids all kids want to be in a parade. She'll never forget it. No. Nope. But for a lot of people, they you know watching it is as close as they ever get to being in it, and. And the kid, especially little kids, it's very leaves a lasting impression. Yeah. Now, what Christmas parades did you go to growing up? We went to there was one. We went to one and done because where I live, there's not one for the. Actually, we did have a parade in Anderson Creek. Okay. One time in in my lifetime that I'm aware of, we need to bring it back. It really it just needs an organizer. Yeah. You should do it. No. <laughs> I think it's got your name written all over it. Maybe it has it so written all over it. Now that I've brought it up, you, somebody's going to nominate me. I think you should be nominated. Gosh, me. goodness. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of work put into. Well, if you went to the if you went to the Dunn Parade, you saw the Shriners there. Yeah. So, home, yeah. home of the Clowns. Of course, yeah. And then, of course, that's where, you know, our unit, the Sudan Racers would go there as well and others. So, Yep, we did. We went to the Dunn Parade sometimes, and then um, I did walk in a parade when I was a kid. I don't remember which one, but I just remember, you know, it's almost magical when you're little. Well, now I came and did the Remax. I was a Remax balloon one time. Oh. I walked through the, the Sanford Parade as uh -huh. the Remax balloon. Somebody needs to bring that back for you. I, I think we, we definitely need to bring that back. <laughs> I don't know if I need to be in it. I but. We'll draw straws on that one. Yes. I don't, I don't, I'm not tall enough. Yeah, I think you have to be over six feet tall. I don't think so. So that leaves only you I, and I Tony Totsky, I think. I, I think you would be a perfect, <laughs> perfect candidate for Terrible it. Terrible so. candidate for it. So. The worst well, candidate, actually. I'm more likely to sing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then we'll let you stand on the float next year and sing. How I'll do that? it. I'll so. unplug my microphone for okay. the whole thing. Sing, sing my little heart out. Okay. And next up, we got the Northview Fire Department. Oh. And here we got Car yep. Yep. Cardinal, Cardinal Motors and Builders. Yep. That's a beautiful building. It is. Very Christmassy, but it's also good for, you know, regular use. It's a I've perfect clubhouse. It is. Wow. Yep. Could you imagine having that when growing up? <sighs> that never would have happened. Uh, that's too fancy. Uh-huh. For sure. These are, uh, there's another coming through here, too. Looks like a good she shed. That's tr Yes, you need a she shed. For Stacy. Stacy needs well, a she shed. Brooklyn needs a she shed. <laughs> we already we already have a few of those. <laughs> so Are they this nice though? She needs one with a porch. Yeah. And maybe a balcony. <laughs> I might I'm, I maybe get hit up for that. Uh huh. So. We'll have to talk to Santa. Mm hmm And Naughty Pine Sawmill. Yes. You don't see a lot of uh, homegrown sawmills these days. No, you don't, but you can't really see it. The, there's a beautiful bench yeah. somebody's made there on the back of their float. Uh -huh. And now we've got an 82 Jeep driven by Elvis Fairclaw. Or Elvis Fairclaw grading. In Scott Ballard Farms at a Broadway. Yeah. That is a huge tractor. That tractor will get get the job done I hope so no doubt about it so. as my kids would say mom there's a girl driving that farm truck there sure is yes, there's a right. girl driving that farm truck girls could do it too uh -huh. This is 
another one of their trucks. Okay. Next up, we got R and W Farms, Ross Walmart. <laughs> Driving a 1486 International. That's another big tractor. <laughs> Got the 1486 and an 886. Wonder if there's heat inside the inside the track. Probably not. <laughs> Some of them do. I don't know. I I, these older ones, maybe not. I see a fan, so. They're not mm -hmm. going to get hot. Here we got Carolina Concrete. They've got uh, a 1970 Corvette Stingray here. Coming up. And Tramway Fire Department, engine 24 here with us. You know, a lot of these firefighters mul work at multiple departments. I don't know how they do it. They don't sleep, I guess. Now we got Lamco Property Management, driven by Tony Totsky, Remax Real Estate Service, joined by his wife, Carolyn. Be they're very festive. They yes. are always dressed for the occasion. Aver yep, they are. <laughs> and Lee County High School FFA, Their little cabin. I wonder if they built that cabin. I bet they did. I, I bet they built that float there. Yep. So, and uh, and did a great job. They did. Yep. Metal roof and everything. Mm-hmm. And here comes Stephen Hall on a John Deere 430. So. And Thomas Pole Buildings. Pole barn shops and shelters out of Lillington, North Carolina. Not far. And he chose not to drive his tractor, but just to pull it through. Because it's clean. He's, you know, yeah. preserving its cleanliness. <laughs> I've actually seen um, Thomas Pole Buildings. I just realized when I saw one of their hats, their right. logo is gray with this neon green font. I see them every time somebody's wearing it. All right. This is the Central Carolina Antique Power and Equipment. And they've got, I think, six tractors here today. Goodness. So uh, coming through and sharing these with us. And if you've never, uh, if you never see, if you ever want to see these up close, uh, they always have them at the Lee County Fair. Oh. So they'll, they'll be there at the Lee County Fair for you to, to actually get up and cl up close with them. Oh, that's different. So, and and you get your, your, my kids love to check them out. So. It's amazing how well preserved some of these things are. I mean, I know that they have restored them, but yes. still, yeah. it looks like it just came straight out of right whichever off. era yeah, that's it's right. from. So. And you can see, like, that's a 1949 Farmall H. Wow. So, but just beautiful vehicles. Uh, we, should, we need to stop one of them and ask them why some of them have two tires on the front. It was all about how, like, the ones that were close together is because of the rows, the, the crops that they were planting. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. So. yeah. But they don't do that anymore, I don't think. Now it's usually four tires. I don't You'd know. You'd be surprised. 1953 John Deere 50 here. <laughs> <laughs> His clutch got stuck a little bit. Well, and yeah. the... And then the next one's having some difficulties with his flag. <laughs> he's, he's just taking it easy. <laughs> right so. in his face. He's going a little bit He'll slower. Get it. Yeah, he will. So. <laughs> right behind them, we got the Boone Trail Fire Department. <laughs> and there's one thing we know for sure they're here. Their sirens work. They do, yes. So, safety check, fire sirens work. They're good. So, Boone Trail Emergency Services there. Well, here, here comes Phil Stone and his, his group. All of them on antique tractors as well. That's Phil in the back over there. I'm bringing up the last one. On the red tractor here yep. at the farm mall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that feels also one of our uh, tree services here in town. Oh. Know? So if you know, need another tree service. That's right. We Mr. rotate. Mr. Phil Stone. Sand Hills Antique Farm out of Lillington. And we got another group of tractors. Yes, we do. That's an old Alice Chalmers there. I don't know that I've ever seen an Alice Chalmers mm -hmm. tractor before. Oh, this one has passengers. That's yeah. what I need. Now, this old Fordson here. Yeah, it was a two-seater. Of course. Because who seaters. wouldn't want to go ride on a tractor with their husband or wife and yeah. just farm the land? Oh, we got we uh, got a friend helping a friend. Yeah, we got one one broke down. So <laughs> that's what it's all about. That's so. right. <laughs> we got the 1948 Farm All M pulling the Oliver 77 row crop. Well, that's all right. That's okay. It happens. Another Alice Chalmers coming through here. See, when you you leave here, you can look up some of this stuff. I'm going to. So. I'm going to have to. Oh. <laughs> Old international here. And now we got a newer international coming through. Huh. And right behind them, we got Epic Manufacturing Solutions, the Mini, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. That is too cool. And their antique car. And the Grinch tossing out candy yeah. there. And here we go. We got the pint size pasture. Patrick Kelly driving. And if you don't know about a pint-sized pasture, that will bring the farm to you. Nice. So, For, like, birthday parties yeah, and stuff. Yeah, birthday parties. And oh. and goats and donkeys and everything else. And Dalton Davis is bringing us some music. Yes, they are. Nothing like live music That's right. at a Broadway Christmas parade. Out of Mamers, North Carolina. <laughs> Next up, we got the Carolina Trace Fire Department.
And Miss United States Agriculture. Yes, and I'm, let's see here. This is Kinley Scott. The 2022 Junior Miss. And Justin Hutchins in the 95 Dodge Dakota doing his best pageant <laughs> wave. Somebody out of the back of the truck was. <laughs> Followed by him is a 1981 Ford F-150. Given by Nicholas Kleiner. Now there's a old military vehicle there. Next up, we got the Lighthouse Grill, located in Mamers, North Carolina. So right off of 0421, and I've heard that their one of their specialties is their uh, jalapeno cheddar biscuit. Oh, that so sounds delicious. It does. All right. Down South Outlaws Classic Car Club. <laughs> there followed. Followed by Ben Haven Fire and Emergency Services. <laughs> Looks like we got a some people in some different places. Right, Down South Classic Outlaws is actually behind Ben Haven. Yeah, and that and the uh, what came before them was Jaden Dula in the Chevy Chevrolet Rado. Well, now you got there you there go. There we go, Down South Outlaws right here. And their car club. And a four-wheeler. I don't know that they're part of the car club, but they're... It's part of the car club. Present, yep. Uh, part of the car He's going to entertain. He is, yep. Everybody's, everybody's trying to get him to do something. So. Monte Carlo SS there. And here we got uh, Matthew Johnson Logging from Sanford, North Carolina. That's a chip harvester. Oh. It's got a lot going on there. Uh, it does. Right behind them, we got Buchanan Farms. <laughs> and I think we've got the big man coming through now. Okay. The person everybody's been waiting for. Driven by Sanford Contractors. They're delivering the big man to us. There, there he is. They're announcing him. I see Santa. Santa and Mrs. Claus. Oh, that's good. Yeah. She was able to come this year. <laughs> Some of the reindeer. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Santa's Travis, got me on his list. Travis has been called list. out. So. Naughty. <laughs> I got I to do some repenting. That's right. So. And last but not least, we have um, 
Mayor Andrews and Commissioner Collins. So. <laughs> He's saying they got overheated oh, that, back there. That during would, yeah, that must have not. One of the stalls. Must have been. Could have so been. That, so. that would be an issue, I guess, All for right. some of these older vehicles. Well, we want to thank everybody for joining us for the Broadway Christmas Parade. It has been an absolute pleasure to uh, to bring this to you guys. I hope all of you have enjoyed watching it. Uh, again, what's your favorite part today? The tractors. I'm really interested in the tractors See, this year. So now you got some homework to do. You're homework. Go home and figure I'm out some things. I got to learn all of them for next year. You got to figure out a few different. What's going on? Like you never heard of an Alice Chalmers? Never. So I'm look it up. Look it up. Um, in fact, I. My grandfather, great grandfather, had an Alice Chalmers. Oh my goodness! So, so yes, growing up a little bit and on the farm, we had a few different tractors. But it is—it's uh, been, like I said, an honor to to host you here tonight uh, or today, I should say. And uh, again, I'm Travis Bradford, Rematch Real Estate Service. If you guys need anything uh, in real estate, give us a call. Call Jessica again, my colleague over at Rematch Real Estate Service. And um, until then, I guess we will see you guys next year. For the 2022 Broadway Christmas Parade. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kelly School of Dance would like to thank you for supporting our studio for over 40 years. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays from the Chocolate Cellar. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Hi, I'm Sam, and we're from the Chocolate Cellar in historic downtown Safer. There's no better gift this holiday season than a box of our delicious handmade truffles. We have a large assortment of truffles from our customer favorite key lime to our uniquely flavored hot and spicy. We also have grab and go bags starting at $5 and our build your own boxes at $3.99. Come see us at 110 Carthage Street in downtown Sanford. Por favor, venga a visitarnos. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Remax Real Estate Service, New Image Media, Downtown San Fernando, the Town of Broadway, and Sanford TV. Thank you for watching the Broadway Christmas Parade.